Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing so well. I hope life is treating you okay and I hope you're having a lovely week so far. I'm very, very, very excited about today's video and I have kind of been talking about it in the vlogs and in previous videos, how excited I am. Today, I am doing my kind of biannual makeup haul. So as you know, I did a big makeup ban for about nearly three years. I didn't buy any makeup products. And now my relationship with makeup shopping is very different to what it used to be. I used to buy literally everything whenever I wanted, all the time. Now I kind of do two big orders a year where I really treat myself. I accumulate all of the things that I've been desperate to try. I really give myself a big treat. And it's honestly like Christmas. And a lot of the time I will coincide it with Black Friday, which is what I've done. Also lined up with the fact that Sephora has now launched in the UK, which is something that we have been waiting for, for like, 10 years more. I used to watch all these American YouTubers doing their Sephora, Black Friday, VIB sales, and I would always be so, so jealous. And Sephora has finally, finally launched in the UK, and I am so excited. So I've done an order, a big order. It's a big order, okay? You're gonna wanna get a cuppa ready. It's gonna be a long video. As you have probably noticed, I'm getting a little bit more into my makeup videos at the moment. So I've picked up some new fun things to try in videos to test out for you guys. So a lot of that is gonna be in my like video makeup collection, not even, not like in my makeup bag, but more for my filming makeup. So if there is anything in this video that you see that you're particularly interested or excited about, let me know down below and I'll prioritize it in my reviews and things like that. But yeah, while Black Friday is, was happening, I also um, did an order on Cult Beauty um, and I basically utilized all of the sales um, to get loads of amazing new stuff that I cannot wait to play with. So without further ado, let's uh, do a little makeup haul. I will be doing a full face of first impressions very, very soon. It will either be the next video or the video following. Um, I will be testing all of these products or as many of them as I can on my face. And that is a video I cannot wait to film because I'm yeah, so many products I'm so excited about. Ah. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Let's do this thing. All right, my love. So we're gonna start with Sephora because that is the thing I'm the most excited about. There's a couple of skincare things, a lot of makeup, a couple of hair things. So let's start with the non-makeup things and get those kind of out of the way. Four things that I've repurchased that I ran out of. And so I thought, while they're on sale, I'll pick up things I know that I already love, that I use every single day, basically every single day. A new pack of my Spotlight Oral Care teeth whitening strips. I spoke about these two vlogs ago and I said that I was running out and I needed to buy new ones anyway and I was very, very happy to see that they were on offer. These are the teeth whitening strips that I've used for a good couple of years now. Every six months or so, I'll do a full two week stretch of wearing them every single day for an hour and that really lifts any kind of deeper stains. I'll top them up once every two weeks or if I've got like a special event, I'll wear them while I do my makeup for that. Just to really brighten my teeth because I like having a nice bright smile. My teeth are very much due a whiten. I've not done the two week course since maybe last Christmas. It's been about a year, so I'm very much due a full pack of these. Is it gonna look really messy if I put everything in the background? I'll start it and if I change my mind, I'll take them down. <laughs> Next is a cult classic and a personal favorite product, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have a few cleansing balms that I love and this is definitely one of my favorites. It comes with a little towelette. This is one of the best cleansing balms I've ever tried. If you've never tried a cleansing balm, it's a amazing way to remove your makeup. Melt it in your hands, rub it on your face and it breaks down any makeup because it's oil based. So it it breaks everything down. It's super, super gentle. You can then rinse it off, or I like to use a flannel or a makeup removing towel. It smells like the spa. It's a really lovely moisturizing formula. Because as I have complained about a lot recently, my skin is really dry at the moment. Cleansing balms are a really great way to take off your makeup. Quicker than a face wipe. So throw away your face wipes and get yourself a cleansing balm. It's quicker. It literally is quicker than a face wipe. Do it, okay? Do your skin and the environment a favor. One of my all time favorite hair products is the Kerastase Resistance Cement Thermique. It's a resurfacing, strengthening milk. Blow dry hair for 
Dro blow dry care for damaged hair. It's basically a super, super hydrating pre-styling cream product. I also use a heat defense spray as well, but this makes your hair holder style really, really well. It's great for frizz resistance. The first tube of this I ever got was given to me by my old hairdresser. She put it on my hair and I smelt it and I was like, that smells amazing, what is that? So she gave me the tube and then I finished the tube and I've been meaning to pick up a new one and then I saw it was on Black Friday, so I got myself a backup. My eyelash curler is broken. It's crap. <laughs> I've had it for about five years and the little pads are all broken down and it's just a mess. So I got myself a really affordable little Brushworks eyelash curler because I needed a new one and this one is pink. Another hair product that I really love, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced clean dry shampoo so this rather than just leaving like a kind of powdery feel to your hair actually makes your hair feel cleaner it absorbs the oils in your hair now that my hair is dyed red i'm not washing it as much a because it doesn't look as greasy as it did when it was blonde and b because it's so high maintenance up up keeping the color that i try not to wash it because the color washes out so fast. So having a really good dry shampoo is vital for me because I only wash my hair once or twice a week, max. And this one is my favorite. Finally, skin, hair, whatever, wise from Sephora. I have been influenced by an influencer. The horror. <laughs> Alana Davidson, someone who influences me massively because she has a similar skin type to me and a similar kind of preference when it comes to makeup and skincare to me. So I watch her videos and take a lot of inspiration with products because I know most of the time I will also love the things that she loves. She rarely lets me down. She's been talking about this like it's gold. While it was on Black Friday, I thought I'd bite the bullet and try it. This is the Skin Fix Derm Barrier Plus Triple Lipid peptide cream clinically proven to increase softness and radiance for healthy nourished skin this is for dehydrated and dry skin and yeah like i said my skin is really dry and i'm kind of cycling through trying different moisturizers so i figured i would try this one and i really like the applicator it's one of those ones where you just push it and it pumps out so yeah i will try this and i will let you guys know what i think of it because she has hyped it up so much that i have high hopes Okay, should we talk about some makeup? So the next purchases all stemmed from this. This little unassuming palette, my Natasha Denona palette, the mini nude palette. This palette has had me in a chokehold all year. I love this palette. I love these eyeshadows. I love the texture of these eyeshadows. I am obsessed with these eyeshadows, okay? I wear them literally every day. I've shown them so many times. And I decided that it was time for me to upgrade. And boy, oh boy, did I upgrade. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, this is probably the bulk of the uh, order. I went in on Natasha Denona. Let me just show you, because I'm so excited about these products. If they are anything like my mini nude palette, then I can see a uh, serious love affair starting with some of these. I'll start with the thing I'm actually, I think the most excited about. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette and this is in the shade Light. You can see yourself, hi. What a joy, what a freaking joy. This palette is the overall face palette of dreams. You guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm really enjoying these kind of full face palettes at the moment, but it's got five, Super duper wearable. There is not one color here that I wouldn't wear on like a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of these palettes, there'll be like two shades that I never touch. I will wear literally any of these every single day. It also comes with a beautiful cream blush. I've never tried a Natasha Denona cream blush before, so I'm very excited about this. As well as this glorious, glorious highlight. They are just the softest, creamiest most blendable eyeshadows i am so excited i'll probably do a whole video just kind of doing a full face using these oh it's the perfect everyday shades for me i cannot wait i am so in love with this palette i'm excited to try that blush and that highlighter mm -hmm. following that i picked up the natasha denona um glam palette which i've had my eye on for ages this palette is leaning much more on the neutral cool tones. I'm really loving like a slightly cooler toned um, palette at the moment. I thought that this would be amazing for like a really kind of grungy 
90s smoky eye. I have actually picked up another palette that will do that too. But we'll talk about that in a minute. I haven't bought eyeshadow palettes in so long. And I just wanted to get a few new palettes to really, really inspire me. Get me playing with colours again because my eyeshadows look the same every day. And I love like changing it up. So I'm really excited. Some of these shades are just glorious. And remember, if you guys see anything you want me to do a tutorial with, let me know. They will all eventually get featured. All right, you guys might recognize this palette from the weekly vlog. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. And we've already had some history, me and this palette. I'm a bit scared to open it. No, we're looking good. We are looking good. So this is their really warm toned palette. Beautiful, rich, warm shades in there. If you watched the weekly vlog, either the week before last or last week, I don't know when this video is going up just yet. You will have seen that I dropped this palette the minute I opened it. The mi literally, I didn't even have time to look at it. It fell out the box, smashed two and a half of the shades. So I've had to repress them, but actually they've settled quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with my, my DIY and they all fell out. So I didn't know what they were called. I had to look it up and match them, put them in the right place. This palette had better be freaking worth it. It's put me through some trauma already. Okay. <laughs> so I better film a lot of tutorials using this palette and get my money's worth out of it. And my time's worth. Finally, for Natasha Denona, I picked up another one of these mini palettes because they are amazing for travel. So small and I take it absolutely everywhere with me. It's the perfect little travel palette. So I wanted to get one with slightly different shades. And this is the mini glam palette. So it has a few of the shades from the full size glam palette that I just showed you. It's got kind of some of the more wearable colors and again, slightly more on the cooler tone side. I love this kind of taupey color in the middle, a kind of taupey bronze, but it's almost got green in it. I think it will look so, oh, oh my God, that's gonna look gorgeous with the red. <laughs> so excited. I think I've got another Natasha Denona palette, but that might have been from Cult Beauty actually. So if you hear me say the word Natasha Denona again in this video, I'm sorry, cause I'm doing my own head in. <laughs> Let's move on from eyeshadow and talk about some base products, which you guys know are my favorite products. I love, love trying new foundations, primers, concealers, cream bronzers, blushes. Base products is where my heart is at. I rarely buy new eyeshadows, which is why I went a bit ham, because I just really wanted to like inspire myself and really get excited. I'm always excited to try a new foundation, like, ee? and I have a few that I'm buzzing to show you. Oh my God. I'll start with the products that I have tried before, know that I love and wanted to repurchase. One of my favorite products of all time ever to be invented, the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. This, however, is in the shade White Rose. I usually use the shade um, Sunny Flash, which is obviously much, much darker in color. This winter, I am sometimes trying to embrace my fairer complexion. So I thought I would try the lighter shade so I can wear it kind of on its own when I'm much, much paler. They've kind of marketed it differently. They've called this glowing base. So I don't know whether it's a different formula or whether they've just rebranded it. But um, yes, very, very pleased to have a new bottle of that. I am never ever without this. So whenever it goes on offer, I usually will buy two because it is expensive, it lasts me. And yeah, I'll usually buy two, but I didn't this time because I wanted to try a new color. I know that this is a lot of high-end beauty. I am planning on doing a what's new in the drugstore video soon. Um, and I'll be doing full faces with those as well. So don't worry. I know this is a lot of luxury beauty. I've just been trying to make the most of the Black Friday offers to pick up on the more expensive things, but I will be doing some kind of focus drugstore high street affordable beauty videos soon as well i promise i picked up a new glowish by huda beauty multi dew skin tint the shade that i have um i've actually used so much of uh this is light medium and their shade range is bizarre light medium is my tanned shade so um i picked up the shade just light which hopefully will match me Match me now. This is such a beautiful everyday product. Really, really hydrating as well, which is what I need at the moment. I've been wearing the one I already have, but mixing it with a lighter shade of a different foundation. So I thought I would mix the darker shade with this 
um, as I go through my fake tans. You know I like to do that. I like to have a light shade of my favorite foundation and a darker shade of my favorite foundation. So then as my tan progresses throughout the week, I can just mix my perfect shade all the time. Oh, just need to grab my laptop charger, you're about to die. Next in the lineup is another cult classic. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which has been loved for so many years. On this damn website, YouTube loves the Luminous Silk. As the makeup artist, it's just one of the best foundations. It's a medium coverage, it's super radiant and dewy and it looks so natural on your skin. And I have wanted to pick up a new bottle for so long. I used to love this foundation. One of my most viewed videos on this channel is a review of this that I filmed about four years ago. It's so embarrassing, please don't watch it. I've loved this, it's been in my collection for so many years and uh, it was time to get a new bottle. As you can see, Sephora stocks a lot of amazing brands. Two concealers that I know and love and wanted to pick up new ones of. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Macadamia. This is the most opaque concealer I think I own. It's so high coverage, you barely need to wear any of it to give you the most amazing flawless base. I do have it in a couple of different shades. This one I think is probably my shade at the moment, yeah. Yeah, it's just so creamy and opaque. So if you're in the market for something really full coverage, this will cover your sins. Finally, for concealers that I already know that I love, this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 3W. This is a concealer that I really like to wear on those days where my skin is feeling crazy dry, but it's kind of behaving itself. Like I don't have loads of breakouts, my dark circles aren't that bad, but I just need a little bit of extra coverage on any scarring, but I don't want anything dry or heavy. This is a really moisturizing, lightweight concealer that looks so flawless on the skin and it's great for like natural makeup days. I don't know why I'm putting them all back in the box. I'm just gonna have to take them out of the box again when I actually want to use. I don't know. It just looks more aesthetically pleasing to me in the background, okay? No, man down. No man gets left behind. There you go, sweetheart. Let's get some levels, whoa. So we have another primer that I am very intrigued by, by a brand that I've not actually tried anything from. I don't think I've ever tried anything from a Rodeal, but I have two products from them to try. This is the Rodeal Glass Primer, Primer for a Flawless Glow. Glass Primer, does that not sound great? I am all about trying new primers. I'm not gonna touch it because I wanna save it for the first impression, but I am all about trying new primers. I love trying new primers. Anything that tells me my skin is gonna look like glass, I'm in. I want my face to be smooth, crystal-like, and delightful at all times. I want to be reheating the sun with the reflection from my face. I love a dewy base. It says it's got glow microspheres to provide the skin with radiance, creating a luminous canvas. The skin will feel cooled, calmed, and prepped for makeup, and creates a protective barrier on the skin to lock in water, giving it an instant moisturized feel. That sounds great. I'll be the judge of that. Rodeal, if that is your real name. <laughs> Speaking of hydrating products, I've been influenced by quite a lot of other YouTubers um, in this haul, and I will tell you who influences me to buy what, what things. The beautiful Sunbeams Jess always wears this, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescu Rescue, thank you. Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream SPF 30. I picked up the shade 5.5 Bamboo. Now, I know a lot of people like really swear by Bare Minerals. It's meant to be like skincare and makeup combined and it's meant to be super like hydrating and nourishing for your skin. And her skin always just looks so natural. Like so natural, like literally like there's nothing on it but so perfect and glowy. I want to look like that. I will definitely show you what this looks like and how I feel about it. Yeah, loads of people swear by um, Bare Minerals. It's like a clean beauty brand, whatever your definition of clean may be. But nothing has ever like really clicked with me, like become like a holy grail product. So I'm intrigued, I'm interested, and I will let you know. Oh, this is so satisfying. I'm actually really enjoying the little collection happening back here. It's also gonna probably put into perspective how many things I bought, so I might regret that. This is a Jamie Genevieve influence, the Dior Forever Skin Correct, 24 hour caring, full coverage, dreamy, oh, creamy, creamy concealer, not dreamy. I hope it's dreamy. <laughs> uh, I got the shade 2W. A minute for the packaging. 
Ooh. Of course the packaging is luxe, but not as luxe as the tube. Look at this, gorgeous. Ooh. Whenever Jamie uses this, her skin just looks like perfected. It looks really light, like really light with really good coverage. So I'm very, very excited to try this concealer. I think it's gonna be amazing. I usually love the things that Jamie recommends. So I will try this out for you guys on camera. I've wanted that for ages. Finally, for concealers, I got a tester for the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy 2.3B. When I buy new concealers, I do like to switch up undertones. So I like to get peachy ones and more kind of neutral ones, more yellowy ones and uh, different shades as well. So I can try multiple different concealers at once on different areas of my face. And then kind of, if I like the texture, I'll buy it in a different shade for a different area, if you know what I mean. For this one, I went really, really light and pink to go under my eyes. But like I say, I will give that one a crack and let you know my thoughts. We have a few more foundations. I love base products, okay? Foundations are my favorite thing to try. I just love them. Another cult favorite. So I've used the Makeup Forever HD foundation for years. I used to love it. But this, I don't know whether they've just repackaged it, whether they've reformulated it, but look how nice the packaging is now. It's got this like matte baby pink lid. And it's a lovely little rounded glass bottle. I just love the new packaging. I think it looks so cute. I love it. So I don't know whether it's the same formula as the old one. I've not had the old one in my collection for ages. Really, really thin foundation that looks incredible on camera, incredible in pictures. So I thought I would get it again and see whether it is the same formula, whether they've changed it. Got the shade 1Y18, warm undertone, kind of me light medium shade. It says undetectable stay true foundation. It's supposed to look like skin like under hd camera that's kind of the whole selling point it's like a makeup artist favorite so i will try this again excited to have that back in my collection i'm gonna say the dreaded name again natasha denona <laughs> this is actually an old school jamie genevieve recommendation she talked about this in a video like honestly like three years ago and i remember her talking about it and she absolutely loved it. And I remember at the time being like, I'd really like to try that. And it was in the middle of Project Ten Pan. And then um, when I was on Sephora, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot about that foundation. I still would really like to try it, especially because I'm clearly on a Natasha Denona hype right now. I got the shade 30W, which is light medium. Just a simple chic glass, and white bottle, I like the packaging. So this is another full coverage foundation and there's like no information about like what it claims to do on here. And I don't really remember what Jamie said. All I remember is full coverage. So I am very interested. Natasha is obviously a more expensive bougie brand. So I am expecting good things. Again, keep in mind, let me know the things that you would like to see reviewed first down below. Are you keeping note, keeping track? Finally, we have the creme de la creme, the bougiest product yet from Mrs. Pat McGrath. Look at that packaging. Are you kidding me? We had a full memory card situation. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I picked up the shade Light Medium 10. So it opens like this. Oh my God, stop. Look at that packaging. <gasps> it gives me kind of Tom Ford energy. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. This foundation blew up online this year because of all the ads about it being perfect matches for people. You like take a test and it's the perfect match. I'm gonna see what the match is like for me. Uh, I cannot wait to try this. I've heard so many good things about this foundation. I'm expecting it to cure my depression, do my laundry for me, cuddle me to sleep every night. Um, so we shall see. Only really low expectations, you know. This video is so long. <laughs> ah! I picked up a few new loose setting powders. So I've said recently that I've gotten really into my pink under eye setting powder. And this one is kind of the, the it girl of the moment. The Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake. Cherry Blossom Cake. What a lovely name. So let's open her up. Oh, the joys of having long nails. You literally just use it like a letter opener. Here it is. She do be pink. It's a very, very pink color, which obviously is what I paid for. I wanted it to be pink. 
focus babe but i am very interested to see how this looks people on tiktok are going crazy for it basically everyone is losing their mind over this powder um and it's been sold out everywhere and i finally managed to get my hands on it i will definitely be reviewing her seeing if it works for me i saw that soph recently reviewed it as well and she said it was too pink for her so i'm going in with caution this is the Rodeal glass powder which is the sister to the glass primer and this i picked up because of lydia millen she showed this powder in action and her skin looked so smooth i don't know whether it's because lydia millen hasn't got pores <laughs> but ever since i saw her use it in that video i've been thinking about it so again while it was in the black friday sale i thought i would try it another bougie packaging look at that this is just supposed to be a fully blurring powder that's not super super matte i don't think i think it's like a more natural oh the sun is disappearing on me it's a really gloomy day today don't know if you can tell yeah just supposed to make your skin look like porcelain so i will test that out finally in the powder area alana davidson once again has influenced me um because she talks about the uh, Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. She uses the shade three. I went for the lighter shade because I just picked up the Huda Beauty and I feel like I didn't need two pink powders. So this is like four different powders. So there's a lilac, a yellow, a peach, and a pink powder, which all are supposed to counteract different things. Um, but it all kind of mixes together when you put it on. Alana basically says that this is the most magical powder she's ever tried. And like I said, she has very simple, is that my front door? She has very similar skin to me, quite dry. It's a radiance loose powder. So she says it kind of sets everything in place, stops you from getting oily, but keeps that radiance and doesn't feel tight or drying. I am very keen to try this throughout the winter and like her, she has quite enlarged pores. This isn't me saying this, this is what she says. It's like the best blurring powder she's tried, so. I'll be the judge of that as well. We're nearly done with Sephora. <laughs> so you guys will recognize this, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit that I have used three shades and I'm well on my way to finish a fourth. I have loved this palette so much over the years and I've been kind of waiting to pick up one of their new, because they bring out like limited edition versions of this every year. And this year they brought out three, I believe. And I picked out two and I don't think I'm gonna keep both. I'm really torn between which one I want to keep. I wanted to see them in person um, and see which one I'm vibing with. And there are colors in both that I love and I don't really know what to do. I love their packaging this year. So they each are named after different animals. So I got the tiger palette and I also got the elephant palette. They've also brought out a butterfly palette as well. I think those are the three. I might be missing one. So the tiger palette, I think I'm leaning towards keeping the tiger palette. Look at these tones. Stop. It's this shade here that I am just dying over i also love the look of this highlighter the only shade in here i don't feel like i'd use that much is potentially this more plummy color might be a bit too deep for me but again i can't swatch it if i'm going to return it so i don't know i just feel like with my hair it's so warm and gore and it will also look amazing in the summer i do feel like i'm leaning towards this one and if anyone tells me to keep both shh <laughs> The elephant palette is also very up my street, but like it's a very different vibe. Look at that, so pretty. I'd say they're much more kind of classic me, but I feel like I have things that are similar to this, which is why I'm leaning towards the tiger palette. But this bronze color looks so pretty. They're all beautiful. Honestly, if you have a makeup lover in your life, these would be such a beautiful Christmas present. Hello, Focus. Such a gorgeous Christmas present because they're special, they're limited edition and they're kind of like a coveted item. Like the ambient lighting edits are kind of a beauty lover's thing. If you are kind of stumped as to what to get someone for Christmas, some good ideas. I have not tried anything yet from Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's makeup brand. I love Selena Gomez, so I wanted to try something and I picked up the Soft Pinch matte liquid blush in the shade love which is a beautiful terracotta like a deep 
terracotta orange color and I just think this time of year with the hair it's going to be so so rich and I'm really really excited to try it because these blew up online everyone was talking about them now, I didn't buy one when it was cool and now I've bought one way too late but it's fine one of their stay vulnerable melting blushes and this is the shade nearly berry I'm trying to pick up shades that I don't really have like colors I don't already have in my collection this packaging is divine look at that I love anything baby pink to be fair but it's like a little pebble this is the color this beautiful, rich berry color. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness, I can't wait to put this on my face. My throat is hurting, I've been talking for a very long time. Finally, cheek wise, this is so coveted, such a treat. This is something that I've wanted for so long. I finally got it guys. The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Pink. I love that the outside packaging matches the shade of the blush. You know how much I love a bright blue toned pink blush, really bright pop of pink. And this is supposed to be like the blush, like the blush. I've wanted it for so long and I've been like, no, no, I don't need it, I don't need it. I, I needed it, I wanted it, I got it. Can't wait to put this on my face. I only picked up two lip products because I don't need new lip products. Again, Alana Davidson has influenced me to get the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao. It's meant to be like the perfect cool toned brown 90s lip liner. And I love me a 90s nude lip. And I love the formula of these. Um, one of my favorite lip liners, is it here? You can see how much I've used my other one. I love it. This one's the shade uh, Up and Down Tan. So I know I love the formula of these, so I'm excited to try this color. And finally, I got a Rare Beauty lipstick, and this is in the color Talented. Again, super cute packaging. I really love what she's done. And it's, it's like a boop. And it's a lovely brown toned nude. I thought it would go well with the Endless Cacao liner. Like a 90s brown. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you still with me? We are so close to the end. My voice is literally giving out on us. Well, we're nearly done with Sephora and then Cold Beauty, but I will try and be quick. So I mentioned the other day that I wanna try a auburn brow to go with my hair. So I got the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Auburn Dip Brow Pomade, which doesn't look that auburn, but I'm sure that once it's on, it's probably just a film, it will like warm up. We'll see, I'll give it a go, I'll try it on camera. I do like a cooler brow on me, but I thought for fun it would be nice to try. And then I also picked up the Benefit Gimme Brow in Warm Medium Brown, because I usually use the shade three. This is a slightly warmer color, so hopefully this will match nicely. Another Natasha Denona product. Chrome Crystal Top Coat. So you know I love just like a sheen over the lid, like a wet look sheen, like a soft sparkle. You do your eyeshadows and then you just add a light sparkle on top. Hi motorbike, how's it going? I feel like there's always a motorbike when I film. And this one is in the shade Nude and it's just a soft, glittery sparkly top coat to go on top of your eyeshadows and I'm excited to try that. Do you have any idea how hard it's been for me to not play with these products? Genuinely it's it's a problem. Finally from uh, Sephora I picked up my favorite mascara or one of my favorite mascaras I have a few favorites but one of them the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. Those are all of the things that I got from Sephora and when you spend a certain amount during Black Friday you get a gift bag. And I was like, oh great, some like little samples. No, no, no. This is full. Look at that. So I'm gonna go so quick. A NUX um, shower gel, which is fab, because I'm actually running out of shower gel. A Grace Cole Luxurious Body Butter, and this is massive. Ingrown Hair First Aid Beauty Pad. So I'm assuming they're like exfoliating pads. A new Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. A mini Huda Beauty Silk Balm in the shade Blush. A Vita Labrata Tanning Mist. Uh, the Aroma Active Labs Sleep Salt Soak. Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue Eye Cream. A mini Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. And a Privage by Elizabeth Arden Anti-Aging Serum. I don't know which perfume it is, but a mini ghost perfume. And that is everything I got from 
of Sephora. Uh, should we move on to cult beauty? There's not as much, I promise. We are rapidly losing light, so I'm gonna fly through these. <clears throat> I'm also rapidly losing my voice. There's only a few things from Cult Beauty. The first thing I got was a favorite product that I'm repurchasing, the Vive Skin Dew, but I picked up the extra large tube. So for reference, where's my other one? To compare, this is the original and this is the extra large. It's like my absolute favorite cream highlighter. Oh, loud noises, stop. I wear it basically every single day, so, um, I thought I'd pick that up. Actually, I got three things from V. I've mentioned this already on my channel and the fact that I was really excited to get this palette. It's the Vive 90s palette. So starting, it's got the gorgeous Jaguars on the front. So gorgeous, gorgeous packaging, which also comes onto the actual palette itself. It's this stunning, cool toned palette. Super grunge, super 90s, as the name would suggest. And I'm just itching to do like a really smudgy, messy, smoky look. I cannot wait to play with this palette. Ever since I saw Jamie wear it, I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> cannot wait to play with that. Always love to support Jamie as well because she is wonderful. My camera is over me. <laughs> it keeps shutting down. I've been filming for like two hours, genuinely. I started filming at one and it is now five past three. Another product from Vive. I am yet to try one of the eye ones. So I got the shade Camel. It's just a light neutral brown. I thought this would be nice for like an everyday eyeshadow base or if I wanted to do like a cool tone look, having a warm base underneath to create a cool kind of contrast. I've seen really good things about these. So I really wanted to try one. Another thing that I was influenced by Alana Davidson to buy, I'm running low on my setting spray because you guys see how much setting spray I use, I wear so much. I spray my face like four times throughout my makeup. I'm running out, so I thought I'd try a new one. This is the Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. I'm just interested to see how a setting spray fills your pores. I'm intrigued, like, does that work? Yeah, apparently it's got powder in it. It's got pore blowing powders inside the liquid. So we'll see. Finally, let's round off this video, ending it where we started it with Natasha Denona. <laughs> this was the other palette I was looking for, but I got it off of Cult Beauty. So it's like a slightly bigger version of my mini palette. To compare, this is the little mini palette. And then this one, the eyeshadows are like the full sized ones in the pan, whereas these are all mini, if you know what I mean. This is the camel palette, just some really beautiful, rich, um, kind of neutral brown colors absolutely glorious if you've not tried natasha denona eyeshadows get one of these little palettes and try them because your love affair will start the same way that mine did with one tiny little palette that has now become a full-blown obsession i think i need help i just love them i love them so much that's my haul that's it i've done it it's done i filmed it that took me so long oh my goodness i well yeah here you there you go that's the things, I got the things. I am going to bid you adieu. Uh, I'm going to go and drink something warm and eat some food because I've missed lunchtime. I thought this would take me 45 minutes. It's taken me nearly two and a half hours. I don't even want to think about editing this video, wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you've seen some things that you're excited for me to try and play with. Again, leave any requests down below, anything you want to see using some of these new goodies. I did get them mostly to play with on camera. Obviously they're for me because I'll have them, but you know what I mean? Like I didn't just get these for personal use. I got these to try and spice up the products I use in my tutorials a little bit. Yeah, I hope you're excited. I literally am losing my voice. Thank you for watching. I will try to link as much of this down below as I possibly can. That's gonna be a job and a half. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ah. Whew.